us. Help us to drink from this grace. Amen. And let your name alone be glorified. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Come, God. sir. Come. Come. You and your wife, come. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, Lord. Hey. Restore to me the joy of my salvation. Oh, Lord, you are my God. Restore to me the joy of my salvation. Father will not kill me. Amen. Oh Lord. Oh, oh. Shukuna ro 
de amor. Y si canto la for two things. Father, in the name of Jesus, have your way. The rest of you in the crowd play, pray. Whatever needs to be restored, let it be restored. Whatever needs to be restored, let it be restored. Whatever needs to be restored, let it be restored. Whatever needs to be restored, let it be restored. Malekete, so so payala. Lakia katole kete. Lift up your hand. Maya kata. Father, I ask to come forth. Change his story, Lord. Change his story. Let every yoke be destroyed. Let every arrow. Stand up, sir. Stand up. Don't need that. Stand up. Let every arrow that has been fired to delay, to retrograde by this encounter, let it come to an end. Let it return back to sender. Fire of the Elvis. Fire of the Elvis. Lion of the tribe of Judah. From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, I declare a restoration. Thank you, my father. Marco Cote Lekete. La Sasso Sepaya Lekete. Maya Kaka 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 Restore, restore, restore. Spirit of the living God. Restore, restore, restore everything. Restore, my father, restore. Lion of the tribe of Judah, restore. Holy Ghost from the crown of our head to the soul of our feet. Restore, restore. Restore now that the locusts are sitting. Let there be a restoration. Let there be a restoration. Let there be a restoration. That power of God. That power of God. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Jesus. Thank you, your speed. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. It is done. You may be seated now. Can I see you after service? Sir? Can I see you again after service? Let's open our mouth. Thank God wherever you are. Thank Master Jesus. Thank him. 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 In Jesus' name. I want to welcome all those online. You'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Colossians 3.16. Let's Hallelujah. go there quickly. Colossians 3.16. Colossians 3.16. Colossians 3.16. Hallelujah. Media, are we there? It says what? Colossians 3.16. It says, and I read, let the word of God dwell, dwell in richly you. in all in you, in all wisdom. what? Wisdom. Not let prophecy, not let deliverance. No, let the word, word of God. Because once the word of God dwells in you, child of God, Every other thing is automatic. Thank you, Jesus. Let it dwell in you richly in all wisdom, all teaching and admonishing one, one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your, your heart to the Lord. Lord. Mama taught us something on Sunday, and you are still just sitting there like that. Hallelujah. Hey. You are not learning. Right you are just sitting down. Thank you, and Jesus. And that's the problem in church. My God. We come every Sunday, we learn, but we cannot do what we learn. Let the word of God dwell in you, what? Richly, what? Singing. With spiritual songs. We are waiting for someone to encourage you this year. That will not be me in Jesus' name. Let the word of God be your priority. That's what it means. 
read the word of God, meditate on the word of God daily. Because if the word of God, child of God, cannot have the first place in your life, I can tell you for sure, then God cannot have the final say in the affairs of your life. Because the word of God is God himself. John 1, 1 to 5. In the beginning was the, the word, word, and the word was with God, God, and, and the, the word, word was, was God. God. Nothing was made that was made without God the word. Said. And that word shined in darkness, darkness and darkness God. comprehended God. it not. So you want darkness to flee, go for the word of God. Let it dwell in you richly. Please play Amen. something it's very quiet. Let it dwell in you richly. I want you to understand that the Bible represents the jurisdiction of God's commitment to man. But you and I, child of God, must authorize the word of God to fill our spirit in order to get an encounter in a service like this. Child of God, God cannot be committed to you outside of the promises of the word. God cannot be committed to your expectation this year outside of the promises of of the word of God, outside of the depths of the word of God. Hebrews 3.15 says, why it is said today, if you hear his voice, harden not, not your hearts heart as in the provocation. So, child of God, if you reject God's words today, then I'm afraid you, it may limit you. That will not be your story in the name of Jesus. Amen. I know many of us have come here for different things. Some of us to just come and dance. Some of us will just come and sing. Some of us will just come and see the choir singing. Some of us for miracles. Some of us for deliverances. Some of us are here for other things. But I want to submit to you, child of God, that the only hope we have is our knowledge of the word of God. The word of God is truth itself. It is the word of God that will bring to you lasting freedom. It is the word of God that will bring to you liberty, finally. It is the word of God that will bring to you efficiency. It is the word of God that will bring to you spiritual Amen. Growth. Quickly again, this morning is another month of preparation. And we have been running on the series since January. We have already established at the beginning of each year that God is very interested in what we do at the beginning. And we said in last Sunday service, that in order to have our expectations met this year, 2021, and beyond, we must take personal responsibilities in the beginning. Now, if I ask some of you, what did we say you must take personal responsibility? 90% of you will not know because you have not put it in practice. And that's where the church is going to. We went on to say that taking responsibility means giving expression to that inner voice. <coughs> To that inner voice that seeks to be heard in the inside of you. We said taking responsibility is rising to the occasion. Rising to any opportunity to serve. Rising to the occasion to do the work of God. We said taking responsibility is knowing the right thing to do. Doing it at the right day is a time for everything. There is a time for everything. Now, the only thing that you cannot get back if you lose is time. The only, on Sunday we're here and on Friday and I said, someone here, you have a word for us. That was the time to give that word. But two people came after seven, they said, it was me. But that time was missed. There's a timing for everything. That's why man of God will say, by this time next year, he put a time on the miracle. There's a time for everything. said that taking responsibility is knowing the right thing to do. Doing it at the right time. And without holding back. Without making excuses. Without procrastination. That is why this morning in our past services, we have looked at the importance of taking responsibility to grow our faith. Taking responsibility to be in his presence. To be hungry for an encounter. Taking responsibility to build on our spirituality genuinely. Daily and consistently. And on Thursday, Pastor David looked at taking responsibility to prioritize God in this kingdom. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brother, be steadfast, be immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Listen to me, child of God, as I conclude on this. Until you make God a priority, until you make his kingdom a priority, you cannot have 
a world of your choice. I live in a world of my choice. I don't know about you. I live in a world of my choice. That's why I say I am not a citizen of this world you are in. I'm a citizen of heaven. That is why I cannot act like a citizen of this world. Because I don't live in this world. Amen. I live above. That is why many people cannot understand me. Because my abode is not here, I live in heaven. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You are a child of God. You are what? A heavenly citizen. citizen. You, are he you don't live to please people as we saw yesterday. You don't live to have a name. You don't live to have fame. Yeah. You don't live to, to be it's known. You don't live to, 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 to be seen. You don't live to, to please friends, to please family. You don't live to impress people. Yes. You live to express the power of God, of God in the inside of you. Amen. Amen. But the opposite happens in church now. Mercy, Lord. We have folks who want to, show, we want to prove a point. Mercy. We have folks who want to prove that they to have arrived. Right. We want folks who don't want to be silent at any point. They must hear them, sir. Oh, yes. They want a name. Mercy, Lord. Be trending to put it here. Again, in these two services today, Jesus. we shall look at taking personal responsibility to make heaven at all costs. Amen. To do what? To make, make heaven, heaven at all, all costs. Cost. Work out your own salvation. salvation. Your own, sir. Your Some husband may be there when all is said and done. He will not answer for you. You will answer for yourself. yourself. Your wife may be there. She may not answer for you. You must answer for, for yourself. yourself. Work out your own salvation. salvation. Many women say, Pastor, you always talk about women. You don't, you don't balance it. I'm a man, so I know how men think. think. So you ought to even pay me for telling you how men think. Mercy. <laughs> you ought to pay me. Hallelujah. Men don't think like women. Yes, sir. Sir, before they created woman, man was already there. Mercy. We had a language already. That's right. We were already communicating Com with God. There was a language. Yes, sir. Woman was made and she came to meet that language. That's right. She had to fit into that language. That's right. So for you to... Uh, 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 for you to understand that man, yep. you must learn to speak his that language. language. <sighs> Thank you, sir. I don't want to talk about marriage. Speak on. Preach on, sir. I don't want to talk about marriage. No, sir. You must learn his language. language. Thank you, sir. When a woman and a woman are speaking, sir, they don't lack words. They will speak and speak and speak because they are made you in the likeness them. of one another. That's right. But when a woman is speaking to a man, no. Somebody needs to sit down and be quiet and yes. listen. Yes. Thank That's you, not Jesus. what I'm speaking today. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Take you, personal Jesus. responsibility. We must make up our mind to make heaven. I want to really teach. I don't want to preach. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That is having eternity in mind. Mightily. Before we venture into anything this year and beyond. And God began to speak to me that this is the bedrock of Christianity. If you ever gave your life to Christ... Your first, the foundation of what you are coming to church for is to make heaven. Not for testimonies. Not for miracles. Not for breakthrough. Yes. It's to make, make heaven. heaven. To make heaven. Hallelujah. So you must live life daily with eternity in mind. Before you do any venture with eternity in mind. You don't just see a fame man and you're rushing. You say, let me marry him so that he can solve all the problems in my family. You that's don't that. have eternity in, in mind. mind. And that's what many people are doing today. They can marry anybody as long as they are, the poverty in their family is gone. But what shall he profit a man if he gains the whole the world, world and loses his, his own soul? Jesus, have mercy. Living life with eternity in view is living your life daily with a mentality, child of God, that one day every one of us will die and will have to give account for your stewardship on earth. You have to give account for your stewardship on earth. They sent you in your unit with 10 pounds to buy milk for the unit and you pocketed two pounds. When all is said and done, you will give account. Live life daily. You go to work at 8 o'clock. You say you came there at 7 o'clock. You will give account. Thank you. Nice Live God. life with eternity in mind. With eternity in view. Romans 14, 12. It says, so then. Romans 14, 12. It says, so then. 
Every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Of who? Himself. Did they say you and your family? No, sir. No, sir. Of yourself. Personal. Your wife may be there. She will not give account. You will give account yourself. Yes, sir. Every one of us, you live life. Now, people who live life with eternity in mind are people who live like strangers. They live on this earth like strangers. They live on this earth knowing that one day they will go. Right. Knowing that they are not yet permanently. They live with a mentality that this world is not my, my own. Home. I am I'm only passing by. And my focus, my glory is on eternity with Christ. You live life on account that one day you give account for every wrong. Living life with eternity in view is living your life daily with a mentality that one day you die and appear before God and give account of your life. First Peter 4, 7 to 11, quickly. First Peter 4, 7 to 11. It says, by the end of all, let's read together, 3 to 1. By the end, by the end of, of all, all things, things is at hand. hand. Be ye therefore sober. sober. And watch, watch what unto unto prayer. Prayer. and watch what unto to prayer. And watch what unto prayer. Men always ought to pray and not to faint. So a man that does not pray is not a man. He is a bone boy. Bone. I put that in the room and start you. And someone say, Pastor, why are you talking like this? A man that ought to make heaven is a prayerful man. Mm. I said something here. I say, a man does not only need to open doors for you or give you flower. No, a man that does not pray, pray is a born boy, boy. boy. Men always ought to pray. So men pray, boys don't pray. That's right. You mean the guys, you show you all the cars and all the money. You ask him, what is your prayer life like? That's right. How many of us will do that? No, jump into the What job are you doing? That's the best thing we'll ask. How much money you have in your bank account? This car, how much does this? You are, you are seeing a man for your first time. You are already calculating everything he owes. Mm. Hallelujah. Many of us do that. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. That, that is not living yeah. eternity with, with eternity in mind. Right, because he may give you all that, but derail you. Yes. Divert your work. Someone asked me a question. I said, Pastor, you said last time that in the last days, one man will cling to seven wives. Where is it? Isaiah 4 1. Let's look at that. Please, let me do that for this person who asked that. Isaiah for one. Isaiah it says what? One. Now, why am I saying this? We are not just preaching to you for today. We are preaching to you for eternity. You don't want to be in a place where you have a man who seven women are just all around him. But when the foundation of your life is on Christ, you cannot even think of marrying another woman. Does that make sense? That? You right. cannot think it. Because your, 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 your everyday life is rooted in the Bible. Amen. The world will look at marrying seven women like trendy. But you will say, not so. From the beginning, it, it was, was not, not so. so. In Jesus and in name. that Amen. day, seven, seven women, women in the last days shall take, take hold of, of one man. man. Say, we, we will, will eat our, our own bread. bread. You see, they are saying that, don't worry, we'll take care yeah, of ourselves. That's right. Guys, you don't understand. And wear well, our, our own apparel. Only let, let us be called, called by your name. Only just married us. Mercy. Just married. Put the ring Mercy. on our hand. But if take you away know our who you are in Christ Jesus now, and you make the right choice now, that verse is not for you. Amen. He says what? To take away our, our reproach. reproach. So it will be tre- polygamy will be trendy. Mercy like Lord. iPhone 13 is trendy now. Mercy Lord. Trendy. That those who know their God will not fall to the trap of the enemy. Amen. Shout hallelujah like Hallelujah. It says that first Peter 4, 7, 11, It says that the end shall come, and so we'll live, we will not live forever on earth, and we are commanded to be sober unto prayer. So be sober, watch unto prayer. prayer. And I'm not prophesying dead years, child of God, because one day, whether you like it or not, we shall all go. That is why the Bible frequently reminds us that our earthly bodies, child of God on earth, are merely tens, and that life on earth is brief. Job said, man born of woman is of few days and full 
of trouble. Life that you are living on this earth is brisa. So you must learn to live hey. every day with eternity, eternity in mind. Man. If I do this thing, is God Jesus. with me? If I do this thing, can I count for that money that is in my bank account? Mercy Lord. You know, to give a bank account to fraudulent people to put money inside and then give us a portion. Can you account for that money? Can you account for that thing that you receive from that friend? Can you account? If Jesus comes, can you account? Mercy so Lord. therefore, our relationship with the cross of Jesus, our salvation, is what will determine child of God where we will spend eternity. Thank it you, will Lord be God. heaven or hell. You will not be a reproach to heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't like that. Amen at all. Amen. So as believers, Thank don't you, just Jesus. come to church. Don't just fill the seat. Jesus said that if they will not come, he will make you raise stones Stones to sit there. Don't just feel it. It is is his intention that nobody should perish. It is his intention that nobody should backslide. It is his intention that nobody should look back. He said he who puts his hand to the floor and looks back is not worthy. Not worthy of the kingdom. I know we don't like this kind of messages, but this is the bedrock of salvation. This is the bedrock of your faith. Yes, if sir. eternity is not in view every day in your life, there is no other place to go. There's a hell and there's a heaven. Yes, if you don't make hell, you make heaven. If you don't make hell, the only next place is there is hell. So it's either you make heaven or you make hell. Choose this day. Oh, Child of God, living life with eternity in view is living your life daily with the second coming of Christ that he can come at any time. Amen. Living your life daily with the second coming of Christ in view. Amen. The truth remains that every born again Christian will live with eternity in mind. Will consider eternity first before making any decision, before taking on any ventures in life and destiny. Ecclesiastes 12, 13, 14. Ecclesiastes 12, 13, 14. It says what? Ecclesiastes 12. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. It says what? Fear God, God and keep his keep commandment. His commandment. For, this For this is, is the whole duty, duty of man. man. Fear God and do what? Keep, keep his, his commandment. commandment. So therefore, men who do anything in preparation for his return, and men who live their life with their end in mind. Men who come to church just to fulfill all righteousness. We don't believe that he will come because we have been hearing it since we were born and he has not come. That's right. He could come That's now. Right. That's right. <laughs> live life That's with eternity about. in mind. If he comes now, where will I go? The reason why awkward members, Yahoo boys, they are Yahoo girls as well. Yahoo girls. Saw a film yesterday or a video where a lady was dating this guy. He's doing drugs. And she did not she, she did not know that he was doing drugs at the beginning. Then once she got in, she said, Pastor, I fell, she fell in love. Does that make sense? So once she discovered that he is a fraud, mm. he is a thief, right. he is a yaw, instead of going and saying, mm. please repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. She joined him to do drugs. Mercy, Lord. They caught her yesterday with drugs in her weed. She could have said no. If she was living life with eternity, eternity in mind, she would have said, this is not where I want to end. This is not where I want to go. She would have stopped. But because of greed, she went on and literally joined him to do the evil deed. Second Corinthians 5.10 for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or oh, bad. So that's why I cannot twist figures. That's why I cannot mess up with this call. That's why I cannot twist the word. I cannot s- speak a word to catch your people. Because I've made up my mind that the only place I want to find myself when he returns is in heaven. heaven. Eternity, my daily. That's why I will preach it as it is. I know apology. Amen. No what? Apology. Eternity in view. Hallelujah. Many have come, they got angry and they left. Ba, ba. Shout hallelujah. Mercy, Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew 25, 13. It says what? Watch therefore. For you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of God God. cometh. So, child of God, never live 
a life respecting people who live crooked lives because we will all die one day and give account for our action on earth if we don't repent now. That's what yes, happened to Lord. David. David got to a point in his life, I think it's Psalms 55 from verse 10. He got to a point in his life where he began to see people prospering, where he began to see people making or making, buying things, buying properties. And David was like, what is happening? Why is my time not yet come? Why is it that I'm living in righteousness and everyone else is prospering around me? Everyone else is buying cars. Everyone else is buying houses. Many of us, we buy cars not because we want to please God. We buy cars because we want to please men. We married because we want to please men. That is not having eternity in mind. Who told you that a single life is not a good life? Look how they are looking at me. Mercy, Lord. Who told you that a single life is not a good life? Who told Apostle Paul was not married, sir? Mercy. And he wrote more than half of the New Testament. Mercy, Lord. Hallelujah. Many of us, we don't think about eternity. All we think about is marriage, husband, wife, car, houses. You are joking. My God. Will you profit the money he gains the whole world and loses his, his own, own soul. soul. Your first intention, your first motive as a Christian, sir, is to make heaven, heaven. not cars, not houses, not, 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 not all the things that the world is celebrating. My God. Amen. Many of people go online and they are flashing luxury cars. Where are they today? Where are the billionaires today? They have all gone and all that money is buried somewhere. Mercy. All the money they work all their lives, uh, they go to yeah. hell and their money too goes with yeah. people who did not know how they work the money. Live life with, uh, I'd rather have one suit and watch shit in the night and wear it in the morning. Next week, wash it in the night and wear it in the morning. morning. Next three weeks, wash it in the night and wear it in the morning. morning. Then defraud and buy all the suits in the world, whereas I'm going to hell. Amen. Thank you, Anything Jesus. Anything you have without Jesus, without having them by the blood of Jesus, is a waste of time Nine. and space. Anything you have ever gotten without having them through the blood of Jesus, as a matter of fact, you have nothing. Hallelujah. Nothing. That man you, gives Jesus. you money, ask them what are they doing. If you see that they are not working, what did you do to get this money? Don't just be eating the money. Why did you work to bring such an amount of money? He's driving a Lamborghini. Where did you get this from? What is your job? What is your income? Shout hallelujah. I know we don't like this kind of messages, but it's okay. Okay, bros. Unfortunately, many Christians around the world would rather go and marry even a thief. Somebody came to me and said, Papa, I want to marry this guy. I like this guy. This guy, he, he got everything I want. He moves me. And I said to her, I said, this one you want is a thief. Aye. Mercy, Lord. I said, this one you want is what? A thief. A thief. And she said, my pastor does not like me. I say, marry this other one. He may not have the job that you're looking for in a man, mm. but at least he has eternity in, in mind. mind. She went ahead and married the froster. Six months down the line, she got to come back running and crying. Papa, what you said just happened. Six months wasted. In six months, you can build a house. Yes, sir. In six months, you can open a shop. Amen. In six months, you can open a, a, a boutique. Yes. In six months, you can do massive things. But someone wasted six months. Have eternity in mind. in mind. One thing I must tell you is that the time you lose, you can never Don't recover it back. It. Mercy, Lord. The time you lose, you can never recover it back. Don't allow anyone to waste your time. Amen. Any person that is wasting your time is a sinker of destiny. destiny. You are with someone for 12 years and they, don't, they are not saying how far. Married, and you are still dead. You are still hoping. You are still saying, I will pray. <laughs> Men don't change. Hallelujah. Don't Men don't, don't change. change. It is only the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost that can change a man. A man. One year, two years, doesn't matter to run for your life. My God. Is it waiting for Antichrist to come and propose to you? You don't need two years to know somebody. Six months is enough. Hallelujah. If you have eternity in mind, you will know that this one, this is not a person. That's right. You will know. That's true. Amen. 
Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know fully well that you are going for a date with this guy. You don't like him. You marry. You still go. You don't have eternity in view. You want to go and eat burning fish. You don't have eternity in view. <laughs> hallelujah. Tell him that you don't like him and go to let him go to the next person. Mercy. Wasting precious time on Jesus. worldly things. Burning fish. My God. Burning fish. My God. Malati. Burning fish. It's tasty. At university, I had people like that who went and slept with professors. Mercy. And their destinies happen. That's it. Many of them today they cannot have a car. Because he will not just give you that money. How much does he give you? Maybe five, five thousand pounds. What's five thousand pounds? It's about five pounds here. It's called greed. It's not called you are in love. It is called greed. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs 1 10 to 19. My son. If sinners entice thee, concern thou not. My son, if sinners entice thee, concern thou not. Don't be moved by what people have, sir. Don't be moved by materialism. Don't be moved by what? Materialism. materialism. All that glitters is it's not, not gold. gold. All that, there are no players or something, please. All that glitters is it's not, not gold. gold. I've told you about David. He saw where his enemies were prospering and he was crying. But the Bible says he came to a point where he said, Until I saw their end. end. What is their end? Hell. Hell. Until I saw their end. David thought that God has left him. Until God revealed to him the end, end of those of buying cars yes, and sir. houses by fraudulent transaction. Yes, and then he said, now I know. My Redeemer, Redeemer liveth. Hallelujah. Though he tarries, I, I will wait, wait for, for him. him. He will not tarry. He will surely, surely come, come to, to pass. pass. What God will give you at your time will be the best. Amen. I say it will be the best. Amen. Why hurry to do something now that you'll do tomorrow? Why rush to do something, something now that, that you will still will do tomorrow? Why hurry to wash his clothes now? Why hurry to do cook all his food now when he's not yet married to you? Why hurry to do that when tomorrow you'll do it better? You'll tomorrow be when he puts a ring on your hand, wash him if you like. Yes, sir. Amen. You will do it better. Do not rush. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Do not go ahead of God. Do not go ahead of God. I don't like that. Turn to the other neighbor. Say ne ne. Ne Do not go ahead of do God. Do not go ahead of God. Proverbs 13, 11. Wealth that is gotten by vanity ta, 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 ta. shall be diminished. Let's read. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished. But he that gathereth by, by labor, labor shall increase. increase. That means walk your own with your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Walk with your hands. Nothing is free in this world of Abba said. Walk with your hands. Walk that is gotten by vanity shall be diminished. But he that gathered by labor shall do what? Increase. Shall increase. If you must make heaven, we must live a life prepared daily with eternity in yeah. mind. Yeah. Ready daily for his coming. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 24, 44 to 47. It says what? Matthew 24, 44 to 47. Let's read 3, 2, 1. It says, Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think, think, not the, the Son of Man, man coming. You see, when you think that is not coming, that's, that's when, when you come. come. Will then is a faithful and wise servant, whom, whom his, his Lord has made ruler over, over his household, to give them meat in due season. Next verse 46. It says what? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, Lord when, when he cometh, shall find him. him. So, giving him meat in due season, season. when he is due. God makes all things beautiful in his, his own time. time. Wait for your time. Amen. Say never. Never. Say life. Life is ten by ten. Is ten by ten. You may be driving a car now. Tell him. Tell him. Never say nene. Nene. You may be driving your car now. You may be driving your car now. Very soon. Not very soon. When it is my turn. When is my turn? I have the latest car in town. I have the latest range. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And when you have your own, when you I, have your I, own, I will be flying. His own will be outdated. Yes. His own will be 2020. Yes. Your own will be 2025. I'll be flying. I'll be flying. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Jesus. Jesus. Make all things beautiful. Amen. Don't 
in a hurry to get married. Thank That's you, what Jesus. I'm seeing today. Girls are so much in a hurry. My friend just got married, so I must go. It is not a race. Yes, Marriage is not a race. Yes. Marriage is not a run. No. Allow the Spirit of God to bring you a husband. Amen. I'm telling you, if you don't do that, yeah, I'm telling you, please. there's no rush. There's no rush. There's no rush anywhere. I got married how many years ago? Maybe 20 years ago. It's, I don't can't remember. But those who are getting married now, they are doing better weddings. Better. Then I was thinking that I had a good wedding. Yes. But now, those who are doing wedding can do wedding in the air. My God. They can do wedding under the sea. My God. Hey, hey, hey. You don't understand. Don't rush. Don't go ahead of God. What God is about to give you, it has delayed because he wants it to be the latest. That's right. I say your breakthrough will be the latest. Amen. Your marriage should be the latest. Amen. Thank you, Live Jesus. Live with eternity in mind. First thing you meet a person, what is your spiritual state? Life. Not how much money you have in your bank account. Not how many six packs you have. Many of them have six packs, no account. Are you going to be eating six pack at home? Mm. Let's see. God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible likens Thank this to the story of the wise and the foolish builder. Let's read Matthew 7, 24, 27 quickly as I run up. Matthew 7, 24, 27. It says, therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them. So it's not enough to be here, sir. My heart grieves every Sunday. Now I'm even afraid to ask, what did you do last week? Because I know I'll be embarrassed. Whoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will do what? I will liken him unto what? A wise man. Which built his house, his house upon, upon a, rock. a rock. Next verse. It says what? And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon, upon a rock. rock. The next verse. What does it say? Verse and everyone, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine. Of mine and do them, them not, not, like some of you looking at me now, shall be likened unto, unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. sand. Verse 27, it says what? And, and the, the rain descended, descended and, and the flood came, came and, the and the winds, winds blew, blew, and beat upon, upon that house, house and, and it fell, fell and, and great was the fall of it. Great was the fall of it. They're telling me five minutes already. Great was the fall of, of it. it. A man who heareth the world and does not go for the world, does not do the world. In my look at the beginning, as if things are working, oh but later on, as it continues oh to God. ignore, God. reject the word of God, great is the, the fall, fall of the man. Yes, Lord. Even in business, you want a business partner, what is their word depth? Yes, what is their spirituality? Because if you go to someone to be partners in business who have zero spirituality, Jesus. because of them, you may be pulled down. That's right. Because two becomes one. The same in marriage. Sir. Thank same you, in sir. marriage. Thank you, Lord. God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the man that is building and preparing well is that man who builds his house on the rock. The rock. My hope is built on oh. Sing it like a minute. And righteousness, I will not lose my sweetest friend. Major, my hope is real and nothing less. Don't just sing it. Let it resonate.
who has zero foundation on the word of God, who has zero spirituality. Many times God will answer as we have seen here because God is merciful. But most often nothing will happen. Because the prophecy is not built on solid rock, the foundation that is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Now, quickly, what are some of the principles we must follow if we need to live life with eternity in view? Number one, living life fully aware that Jesus Christ is the foundation of every decision. Jesus is the foundation of every venture you must embark on. On Christ, the solid rock, my business stands. On Christ, the solid rock, my ministry stands. On Christ, yeah, the solid man. rock, the rocks on my hands. Jesus. On Christ, the solid rock, my yeah. business stands. Yes, on Lord. Christ, the solid rock, my yeah, ministry stands. Amen. Everything that concerns me must stand on, on Christ, the solid rock. rock. If not, sir, it's only a matter of time. When they begin Great to face to be battles, boss. they'll give up because their testimony of Christ is it's not standing. standing on the foundation that is Christ. Jesus Christ. Again, whether you know it or not, whether you agree with me or not, and I say this without any apology, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the foundation of every venture and every life that must make heaven. Amen. Not, not Hindu God, not Mohammed, Jesus Christ, Christ the Son, Son of, of God. God. He's the same Amen. yesterday, today, today, and forever. Amen. And the Lord, the truth, and the life. You no can take. Come to the Father except through Jesus, Jesus. Christ. He's the Son of our salvation. Yes. He's the Son of our salvation. He's the Son of our salvation. Amen. Jesus. Sit down, please. Thank you, Jesus. No apology. Someone was coming here and I said something by revelation. I say, those things they do in the Catholic Church, that, that's, that's what makes the difference. Uh. Yes, you are not afraid to lose members. Amen. As long as you are led to preach what God wants to preach. You are Thank not afraid you, Jesus. to lose members. My God. It has never been about members. It has been about eternity in mind. The rock. Even if everyone goes, next Sunday I'll come here first and I'll preach on empty chairs. Why? Eternity in mind. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is non-negotiable. Jesus Christ Amen. is the foundation of every venture, of every building. He's the foundation of every foundation. He's the foundation of every building. Thank He's you, the Jesus. foundation of every venture. Thank you, He's Jesus. the foundation of every project. Amen. He's the foundation of every marriage. Amen. Many of us rush into marriage. We don't ask God, is this a man? We enter before we ask when trouble has shown up. Thank you, Jesus. Error. Error. Thank My you. father will say that if you don't involve me at the beginning of your project, don't involve me in the middle or uh, in the end. the end. I don't want to know. <laughs> you don't involve Jesus in the beginning, don't involve him in the middle, except you repent. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 3, 10, 14. Child of God, the foundation of every building, the foundation of every building is what determines the durability of that building. The foundation of every building is what determines the height of that building. You want to raise a story building, there is a different foundation you must mold. A normal foundation with no story building is about two, three million, but a foundation with a story building will probably cost you 12 million. Okay. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. So every foundation determines the durability, oh, determines the go. height of that building. Amen. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, builder I have laid the foundation, and another builder thereon. But let, let every man, man take him how he, he built it thereupon. Next verse, quickly. It says what? For, For other, other foundation, foundation can no man lay than that is laid, laid which, which is, is what? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Who laid the foundation of the earth? Jesus. Jesus the that is himself. why, no matter what the devil does, the earth can never collapse. That's right. Because the foundation of the earth are built on the rock. Solid rock. That is Jesus Christ. You did not get it. <laughs> you did not get it because you don't understand. Hallelujah. When you do the venture Jesus. with Jesus Christ as the foundation, nothing can stop you from going ahead. Amen. Nothing can stop it. Because what well, is built on the rock that is Jesus Christ. Amen. Therefore, the foundation of every building determines the strength and the height of that building. 
So if the building is faulty, know that your foundation was not right. Nice Psalms 11, 3 says, if the foundation be broken, what can the righteous do? Now, talking about you and I. If the foundation of your Christianity is broken, what can you do? Nothing. It's not talking about the Gentiles. It's talking about you and I. If the foundation be broken, what can the righteous do? And this is the main reason why you see many people succeed today and fail blatantly tomorrow. Because, child of God, they build on a faulty foundation. I gave an example here of a gentleman in South Africa who I was watching for three years, 10,000 members. And I was telling God, God, this life is not balanced. Not knowing that he's building his ministry on the foundation of the occultic kingdom. Mercy, Lord. Not on the kingdom of God. Lord. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Don't look to your left. Don't look to your left. Don't look to your right. Don't look to your right. This race. This race. Is personal. Is personal. It's individual. It's individual. Say run your run race. Run your race. When runners are running, sir, they, they are lines, right? Yes, sir. Nobody crosses. No. When you cross, what happens? You, you are fall. disqualified. Yes, they are focused. That's right. They are focused. They are focused on the yeah, finish, finish line. line. That's what Apostle Paul said. I have finished my, my race. I have finished it. I fought have run it. Fight. I have fought a good fight, fight of, of faith. faith. So to finish your race, you must fight. Yes. Because life is spiritual. Thank you. If you are here and you are not praying, something is wrong. A real man does not just pay your bills. He prays for you. That's right. You may not like what I put on my face, but that's your problem. That's right. A real man does not just pay your bills, he, he prays, prays for, for you. you. Men ought always to pray, pray. and not to faint. Amen. If so you're not a prayerful man, forget it. A real man is not the muscle they do at the gym. That's physical because life is spiritual. A real man is a man that gets muscles from his place of prayer. Prayer. La cosa. He's covering his Jesus. family. He's covering his children. He's covering his finances. He's covering his business. He's covering the works of his hands. That Thank is a real man. Me. Don't make that mistake. Don't make that mistake. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Child, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Also notice that, child of God, as important as the foundation is to a house, so also is your spiritual and your life, the life that you live with eternity in mind, important to God. This is the reason why we keep saying daily, because I understand that the foundation of my salvation was laid on the rock that is Christ. Micah 6, 2. It says, Hear ye, O mountains, the Lord controversy, and ye strong foundation of the earth. For the Lord, Lord had a, a controversy, controversy with his people, his people, and he, he will, will plead with, with Israel. Israel. This is the reason why no matter what the enemy does, witchcraft, sorcery, I've said that already, sir, once your foundation is laid on Christ, they may only try to twist things. They may only try to delay you a bit. They but will not eventually, succeed. sir, you will get to your destination soon. Amen. Why? Because your foundation is Jesus. built on Christ Jesus. Jesus. Isaiah 6.3. Isaiah 6.3 says, In the first year of Cyrus, the king, the same Cyrus, the king made a decree concerning the house of God at Jerusalem. He said, let the house be built. The place where they offered sacrifices. Where is it? The place where they offer sacrifices. Let the house be built. The place, the place where they offer where sacrifices. They offer and and let, let the foundation, foundation thereof be strongly laid. laid. The, the height thereof, three score cubits, and the breadth thereof, thereof three score cubits. Every venture you, you see, it was very specific on how the foundation should be laid. When God said to Noah, build the ark, there was no rain on earth for about a thousand years. It did not make sense to anybody. But God specifically told Noah how to build the ark. He Details. told him how to build the windows. Right. He said, put the windows on at the end. Why? Because so that there's a problem, you can look up oh, to, to me. heaven where your help comes from. Space Specific. You want a business? It's not about going to meet a businessman to give you a business plan, sir. Oh, if that business plan is not, not backed up by the God who holds the heaven and the earth, it's just a matter of time. time. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. And this is not a prophecy of doom. That's the truth. It is just a matter, sir. I'd rather have you here, maybe 20 members for the next 20 years, but I know that I'm making heaven. That's right. Amen. Because when all is said and done, I will answer for myself. Thank you, my angel God. Don't go for people who can eliminate you, take you out of the presence of God. Don't make
make friends with people who are ready. They are people who have made up their mind. They want to make hell. They know that there's nothing like heaven. So they have, they have made up their mind to make yeah, hell. But the going. only problem is that they don't want to go alone. That's it. They are looking for who they'll take with them. It will not be you in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. I say it will not be you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every manipulation that has been assigned against you, it crushes by this encounter Amen. in the name of Jesus. I say it crushes by this encounter in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't like Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Thank you, Holy Ghost. 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 Thank you, Thank you for your word, O oh Lord. We rejoice Jesus, we thank you. Holy Ghost. Master Jesus, we are grateful to you. Thank you for your word, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Matthew 5, 6 to 10. Not hunger for miracles. Not hunger for testimonies. Not hunger for husband. No hunger for wife. No hunger for a house. No hunger for a car. But blessed are they, they which hunger and, and test after righteousness. righteousness. For, for they, they shall, shall be filled. filled. Verse 7, quickly he says what? Verse 7, he says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall, for they shall mercy. obtain mercy. It says what? Say, blessed are the pure in heart, for they, they shall see God. God. Many of us, our hearts are not pure. Many of us, our serving God does not come from a pure heart. We have other motives. We have other alternatives. Mercy, we Jesus. serve God because of what we can get, not because of who he is. Mercy, we serve Lord God Jesus. because of the miracles. We serve God because of the money, because of the gold, not because he is God. I want us to pray. Let your intentions be pure. He says it there. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Today I've heard your word. Today I've heard your word. I stand in the authority of your word. I ask, O Lord, correct my motives, correct my intentions, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, correct my motives, O Lord. Correct my intentions, O Lord. Correct my motives, O Lord. Correct my intentions, O Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by fire, by thunder, every wrong motive, every wrong intention, every impure intention and conscience, O Lord, correct it, O Lord, by the blood of Jesus. That is in my life, that is in the life of my family. Correct my intentions, O Lord, correct my motives, O Lord. Yes, Lord. From today onward, by reason of this encounter, I will serve you with a good motive, with pure intentions, O Lord, to bring glory to you, O Lord, with eternity in mind. In the name of
Jesus. May I not be a reproach to heaven. May I not be a reproach to my generation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who can tell the Cabrando Loca Brandi? Who can tell the Loca Brosso Toroba? Who can tell the Loca Brosso Toroba? Let my sacrifice and prayers. Thank you and thank you and thank you, Lord. Amen. Such a mercy as I release a word. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, when it was the turn for Esther to obtain favor, he received favor from God. I declare upon your lives, you hearing the sound of my voice, let this month of February birth all your expectations in the name of Jesus. Let this month of February birth all your expectations in the name of Jesus. May the best of your parts, I declare, I declare, be your least in the name of Jesus. This month, may the best of your parts be your least in the name of Jesus. I declare upon ten persons hearing the sound of my voice. May the anointing that makes favor permanently residing upon you. May it follow you now in the name of Jesus. May it follow you now in the name of Jesus. May it follow you now in the name of Jesus. As you go from this encounter, I declare and I declare, let revival fire begin to saturate your entire being in the name of Jesus. After now, some of you, the more you pray, the more you want to pray in the name of Jesus. The more you fast, the more you want to fast in the name of Jesus. If you are sick in your body, be healed in the name of Jesus. If you are waiting for your migration breakthrough, receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Wherever you have released a document in any office, the angels of this commission, they are releasing those documents in your favor in the name of Jesus. If that is you, let your amen sound like thunder. Shout your amen like thunder. Thank you. Amen Father. and amen. Let us share the grace. Thank you, Jesus. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, the, the love, love of God, God and, and the, the sweet fellowship, fellowship of the Holy, of the Holy Ghost be with, be with us now and forever and forevermore. Amen. amen. Surely, God's, God's goodness, goodness and mercy shall follow, follow us all, all the days of our lives. lives. And we, we shall dwell, dwell in the presence, presence of the Lord, of the Lord forever, forever and, and ever. ever. Amen.